Hello everyone, welcome back. My name is Alex Too Cool today. Playing on my server now. Right now I'm just working on some of the enemies that the players will be coming across. Um ignore that. Oops, I'm not gonna break that. Let me quickly retype that. So my surgery did go okay. Since it's now we're talk here now. Um the server is also going along okay. Now that much has not been done yet. I would like to show off the new enemies. That's the reason why I had to put this here. Because I have a whole bunch outside. But we have the swollen, the relentless goop, the strider, and the crumbler. Uh, we have the Rotten, the uh, Rotter, the, uh, whatchamacallit, hold on, I can't even... Yeah, I also have the Frantic and the, uh, regular Walker over there. Apologies. So I have all these, I don't think the Frantic's properly spawning out here, but... They should all be spawning out here, as you can see. Um, I don't like the frantic spawns. It's just a walker, yeah. So for some reason I messed up the frantic spawns. I'd be very careful of that swollen. Oh, no, never mind, they do spawn. As you can see, an iron sword is very effective versus them. That is just a regular creeper. I know that does set them on fire. So, wish. Toggle downfall. But as you can see there, an iron sword was very effective versus these enemies. I mean, they have less health than regular zombies. It's just getting. Oh, as you can see, the frantics are very fast. There's a reason I put that swollen way out there. I don't know why they're teleporting back. I'll have to fix that. It's because they're getting out of range of their spawners. And as you can see, the rotters are not that big of a deal. Now this over here is the swollen. You may notice he is much faster than a regular creeper, and he will be retextured, believe me. That is definitely a swollen. I, know, I wish I was full health so I could show you the damage he does, because it is absurd. I have to spawn somewhere else. Now, these guys are going to end up killing me. As it appears. Yeah. A bit dangerous. Now you guys understand. Why big ol' hordes? Now, of course, these were just instantly respawning. Okay. Let's see if we can get some of that swollen damage. Come on, Mr. Swollen. Well, as I just demonstrated right there, they do instantly kill if you're unarmored. I think if you have some armor on, you might survive, but very low chance. And as you saw there, I was full health. I hadn't been hit yet, I don't think. These right here are the striders, as you can see they are definitely going to clobber me. They're incredibly fast, very dangerous, I don't think you can really take on two at a time. I think you can take on one, so I did that earlier. As you can see they are very, very dangerous, um, especially without armor. Definitely going to be a mid-tier enemy. And I'm still not done balancing all these, so. There probably will be some adjustments to the strider speed. Make it slightly more fair. But for now, that is the danger of the strider. Now there's um, some that were not officially planned. You can actually see one here. The relentless scoop, which does not move, but it does good damage if you do hit it. And it kind of moves, and there was that one there. Which was the, uh, 
bulge, and the bulge does move, and it can it can be. This is a small amount of damage, just like Walker or Roger damage, something like that. As you can see, the Walkers are still pretty fast. I mean, not like sprinting like Striders or, or Frantics, but they're still fast. I didn't want people to be kiting huge hordes of them, and I might have to change that as well. I didn't want people to be able to just run away from a huge horde. I wanted you to be able to see the horde and run away from it. All right, we definitely need. This is the current um, working gun, and it only works in semi-auto right now. The sound is currently disabled. As you can see, we are out of ammo. Now, of course, the guns will be buffed. This is just a temporary one. Come on. There we go. So now you guys have a fairly good idea of what some of the combat would be like on the server once it starts to come out. Now, of course, these guns are not working, as I said earlier. You know, they're not at full capacity yet. Yeah, the sounds aren't in. They'll be pretty loud. Um, the sounds aren't in yet, and the damage are fully automaticness. And, I see a lot of missing. This does give you a bit of an idea of how to properly how you're gonna be able to defend yourself using guns on here. Yes, I do reload right now. So yeah, I, I just wanted to give you guys a quick little idea and tell you that I am fine. I am completely fine. To am not completely fine. What are we able to talk? All right. My face is swollen. That's it. My surgery went well. I'll live. Um, the server is definitely coming along progress-wise. We do have actual actively working. Let me show you guys this special room here. Um, we have a rangefinder right here. It will show us up to 40 blocks. What we can and can't hit. There will be an enemy that will spawn in there. I figured that 40 blocks is a decent range. I don't know why he isn't spawning. Oh, there he is. I don't tell us the approximate damage and everything. What we're gonna do is line up right here. The P90 does go for about 40 blocks. That seems to be about the maximum range. Of course, this is not the setup yet. But we have the various armors that need to be textured. Someone stole the set. Interesting. I'll have to figure out what happened there. But as you guys can see, there are his, uh, plans for multiple uh, textures on each set of armor. And then we have the ammo types. Voila. That's not for touchy, that's not for touchy. And that is not for showing yet. So there are gun models in right now, but not that many. Jeez, they're not all done, and this one can be replaced. As you can see, yeah, there are some gun models and it's fairly interesting. 
especially when they all start functioning properly with proper damage and ammo's in. As you see, there's even more down here. So yeah, I I think we got the server uh, set up to be working. I'm gonna start recording more Rust V2 guys. I know, finally, about time. <clears throat> There's a random loot generator system I've been playing with. It's the same one that Rust V2 uses. And of course, this one's a lot more decked out. And I'm going to back up. And there's some completely new stuff. And of course, I do have a bit amped up. But it's so I could experiment to see. I know the exact way that Rust V2 made their loot tables for like uh what should we call it for their enchanted armor sets and stuff and I, I know exactly how to recreate their system right now and I could but I'm not going to because we're going to be using something like that for um what should we call it well we're going to be using multiple systems going on with the big main server loot tables and as I have mentioned in previous videos how exactly um, a looting system works you, know, you can loot different blocks here dash warp spawn so take me to a different location but earlier the best video as I showed over here there were some blocks you're able to loot and of course it's not the official map but you get the idea I have since released a whole bunch of new info as you can see, I can look at this bookshelf, this block, this, and this. I don't have any loot in that yet. That's why it hasn't spawned anything. So yeah, as you can see, I do have a more complex looting system than any other server, more interesting enemies, and on our Discord, we have a lot of new info, and unfortunately a whole bunch of people got kicked from the Discord. So yeah, rest in peace. And this is not for you. Yeah, hold up. Oh, we're going back up through there. There's multiple servers planned out in here, but... Yeah, get out of here. Alright. Here's the current ones. Let's see, look, we have the... Walker, Rotter... Uh... Frantic, Swollen, Strider, and Crumbler all done. So yeah, I think I think we're doing a fairly good job. I mean, of course, there's going to be the easiest ones to do. Um, I, I'm still working on this. I just started working on it tonight. It is late. So I'm going to be behind going to bed, get this uploaded. You guys can join both the Discord and the server. If you want to, the IP will be in the description down below. Um, yeah, I think I think it's gonna be a great project. We're, we're still assembling people to be joining us in the workingness. I don't know. I know that I have to pay Ashel now because he's no longer free labor. That's part of the reason going back to recipe too for the. Never mind. You guys, I'm out of words. I'm, I'm just going to end this right here. If you guys enjoyed the video, like, comment, and subscribe. Yes, I keep track of how active you guys are by the number of subscribers. Thank you so much for 400 subs. That is a lot. I didn't ever think I'd get that far. I didn't even think I'd get to 100. I didn't even think I'd get to 35. So you guys have blown me out of the water once again by this new milestone thing. No words to describe once again. Wow. What is this? I mean, you guys have been, some of the people who are on here have been taking the time to make some crazy things. I've, I've seen it, especially about warp spawn. I don't know where the entrance is, but this is a part of it. Oh man, dude, that scared me. There's like a well thing going on here. Uh, some staircase. I don't look like it went down to something. 
Oh wow. Yeah, you guys have been working on a, a lot, as it seems. Had some sort of skeleton grinder going on there. So, people have been using this as a regular server while, um, it's a vanilla Minecraft server while they wait for updates and stuff to come out. And it will be on the latest version when the server is complete. Oh, I can't leave notice. Looks like they're definitely working on this. And Silk Spawners is on and everything. So if you guys want to play this as a regular server, go right ahead. I do not mind. I would say I do not care, but I do care. Because I care about you guys. Care about getting this channel up and going again after I'm done recovering from surgery. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm going to see you guys later. P -p 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 Peace out.